Hi there, it's Monica again from Burnt Earth Studios in Brooks, Alberta, and today I'll be showing you another Paint-A-Mug tutorial. For this tutorial, I'm going to need some tape, a ruler, some scissors, a pencil, an eraser, a cloth or sponge, and some paper. So let's just jump right into it. I'm going to start off by drawing a diamond on my mug. I'm using a ruler just to make sure that the measurements are right. Now, I'm mostly eyeballing it here, but I do adjust the shape as I put the tape on. Once you feel comfortable with the marks you have made, you can grab your tape and you can start masking off your diamond. Now here I'm just using washi tape, but I'd recommend using any tape that really sticks to the mug. Uh, scotch tape and packing tape don't really work, so I recommend painter's tape. Okay, so I just use my scissors to cut my tape, and then I place my tape, lining them up with the marks that I previously made, and I just mask out my diamond. Now that I'm done with the tape, I'm going to start painting. So I want my mug to go from blue to yellow, so I'm going to start off with the blue, and as I get closer to the bottom of the diamond, I'm going to use less and less blue. Once I've painted the blue right where I want it, I'm going to bring out the yellow and I'm going to start from the bottom of the diamond and just bring it up. Once I'm done painting, I can grab a cloth or sponge and clean up the edges, peel off the tape, and then I'm going to set my mug aside. Alrighty, so I've already drawn out my design in my sketchbook, so I am going to bring out a piece of paper. I am using graph paper here, and using my design as reference, I am going to cut out a piece of paper that is the size of what I'm going to uh, draw in my mug. Okay, so here I am just outlining my design in Sharpie so that when I place my graph paper over it, I can still see the lines. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil and I'm just going to drop my design tracing over the design I already made. Now I have two cats. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip around the graph paper that I just traced the image on and I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to color on the back of the graph paper. So I cut down the graph paper so I could have a better idea of where my cat was sitting on the mug. And then once I've decided a spot, I'm going to grab some tape and I'm just going to tape the paper to the mug. Now I'm going to grab a sharp pencil and I'm just going to go over the design. This is going to transfer the image from the paper to the mug. This is a really great way to make sure you get your design onto your mug if you're not really sure that you'll be able to recreate it on a curved surface. Now I'm just going to fill in the shape with black underglaze. I recommend putting at least two layers of underglaze to make sure that it's really opaque and that you don't get too many brush strokes. Now I'm going to paint some flowers, starting with a dot to be the center of the flower, 
and making a heart right above it to be its first petal. As I move away from the first petal, the heart shapes should be getting thinner and smaller. I watered down the black underglaze so that it would be easier to paint the flowers. If you want, you can draw out the flowers with pencil first. Once I've added all my petals, I'm just going to paint a line for the stem. Now I'm going to repeat all the same steps for a shorter flower, making sure to leave enough room between the two. Now once I've added in the leaves, the flowers are done! Going back to the cat, I'm gonna go in with some white and I'm just gonna make uh, two oval-like shapes for the eyes. And a little red dot for the nose. And that's it! The mug's done! If you want to get yourself some underglaze and some bisque to paint, they're for sale here at the Burnt Earth Pottery Shop. And that's it! Thanks for watching! Until next time!